This video is about how English seems to be misrepresented, as if it were some kind of variant of Latin. It isn't, right? Um, the ish in English should clue us in that it is an idiomorphic vernacular with alterations galore, and imposing rules and such only invites breaking them. And if you'll pardon my vernacular, breaking them we will. The S genitive and its apostrophe is more precisely a clitic marking indicating a dependency relationship between two things animate. Even Professor Michael Swan tr struggled to explain it in his Practical English Usage in 1980. I'm sure Swan has a good approach which simply avoids terminology and simply illustrates the lexical aspects. Also shows how flexible English is and that's what I'm here to talk about. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that there can be such a thing as it's as a pronoun, only technically it remains a determiner. No one possesses anything anyway, except out of crooked intent. It should come as no surprise that it's, without the apostrophe, is widely misspelled with an apostrophe. And that's just one of those things. Let me just illustrate the use of it's in an unusual way. I've conjured this, this sentence, so of course, do with it what you will. But here it is. The human race has a propensity to look for what's not there, chasing its tail like a dog running after its. Of course, that wording sounds broke, uh, but it's arguably fitting since the statement aims to convey just how singularly doggedly broke is the human race. But let's stop chasing after cocoons and let the butterfly flutter by. English is as transformative as we let it. Let it be. Avoid using unwieldy and complex structures, of course, unless you find the need for it. And I'm making a point, and so I'm using the language that is suitable for the analogy. But let's take another analogy. The five precepts in Buddhism, or the Ten Commandments in Christianity, in Judaism, although probably they have a lot more. Once they are common sense and second nature, they no longer dictate our lives. They just are. For English to sound natural, scrap any rules you thought were needed for you to acquire language to communicate. And of course, if you ask your teacher for rules, you'll get them. But is it really what you want to fill your brain capacity with? <laughs>